Not so Freudian here. Welcome to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. Um, I'm not sure how, but apparently the, like, A, maybe I'll turn on autosaves, and maybe that won't happen. Like what happened at the very end of uh, Enemy Unknown. Yeah. But I, they probably just gum up the whole save list, though. I don't know. Yeah, the... Yeah, apparently the game files got corrupted on my hard drive somehow. Because in order to even launch Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within after that freeze up, I wound up having to uninstall and reinstall the game through Steam. But yeah, let's go with a blank slate. I have never touched Enemy Within before. It sounds kind of dirty, actually. Alright, I'm going to go with Normal, because I'm assuming this is going to be longer than the Enemy Unknown thing, and I kind of want to hopefully get through a full run of this before um, XCOM 2 comes out. For these. Okay, I know how to tutorial. Alright, well, I probably don't need the regular tutorial. Should probably do the meld tutorial. It's Operation Progeny. I have no idea what that is. Slingshot is the one with that where you get sang. Iron Man. Uh, well, since I've been having issues with the game just dying on me, I'm probably not going to do Iron Man. Uh, reduce... Like, maybe if I come back and do another playthrough later. After XCOM 2. Uh, enable it. Okay. I think I will keep that on just in case there's new people wanting to watch. Much wider range of damage. Funding offer is randomized under equally. In a potential training but It's not applied to MEC troopers. Huh. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that because I don't know what they actually do. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. I know I've heard the name, but I have no idea who the guy is. I have black bars on the top and bottom of the screen. I wonder if that's just the cutscene, because, like, the top of my frame counter and CPU meter are up in it, are up in the black bar, so I wonder if it's just the cutscene having a slightly different resolution. So that is really going to annoy me. If the whole game has that. Because I don't have an amazing monitor, and so the black isn't very deep. Why is the frame counter down to like 17 frames per second? I sure hope nothing's dying in my computer. So I'm fairly certain the game is locked to 30 anyway. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed.
Yeah, but really, considering my graphics card, luck. I should not be dropping to, you know, 20 frames per second on a game from 2012. I did North America last time. I didn't buy any laboratories and workshops until the very end before. All projects in the foundry of the office training school cost 50% less. I wonder if that's all of the resources or if that's just the credits it takes. Autopsy interrogations are completed instantly. All in. Uh, kind of want to do North America again. For some reason, I thought that included satellites. But yeah, being able to... Yeah, I think I will do North America. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Okay, yeah, because the tutorial in Enemy Unknown was in Germany. That object is That's different new. from the others. It does not appear to be the same type of pod we've seen used by the aliens during their abduction operations. We may gain new insights if we recover it. How many abduction operations have we seen now? Be advised, Commander. Intel confirms enemy activity in this area. Okay, meld, recoverable, infinity. So that's meld. Let's just move her on up. This appears to be a containment device of some kind. We can only assume okay. that the internal self-destruct mechanism like the other alien equipment. Although it must have already been disabled somehow. Internal self-destruct mechanism. So I guess the aliens can do stuff there with it? There may be additional canisters like this one in the area. The more we can recover, the more we'll learn about what's inside them. Any others you find may still have operational self-destruct modules. Be careful. Huh. Okay. He's got cover. Got it covered. He's got cover. He dash into cover. Oh yeah, I forgot when I booted it up to make sure it would actually boot up. I didn't play at all, but I did set up the uh, option where they use their country's dialogue, I guess, instead of them all speaking English. Okay, didn't hear anything. Um, okay. Did they change the, hey, I hear an alien thing? That's affirmative. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Okay. I Back guess it is. I wonder if the intensity no. changes for distance or anything. I guess he'll just dash. Huh, wonder why the grid stayed up that time. Moving. I probably don't need to worry about Overwatch too much. Yes, he's French. I think she was Mexican with the green and green and white red flag. Oh come on. It's in cover. Move him into full cover. He's got the flanking shot. Okay. Six damage critical. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Is that Argentina? The blue and white. I don't know, I probably shouldn't guess at flags, because I'm gonna... Son of a crap, that's the one that's already been shot. <sighs> ah, whatever. Yeah, but... 
as I misguess everyone's nationalities, I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna offend somebody. Huh. Well, if I can finish this in three turns. I guess he'll move here because he has line of sight because that's where the other guy died. Okay, he missed. Wrong rotation direction there. Oh, there's another mill canister up in there. So she can just move into there. The energy signature coming from that device implies the softest struck mechanism is still intact and priming for detonation. You need to move quickly okay. to recover it before it's too late. Cool. Excellent work, Commander. That should provide us with an ample supply of the substance for analysis. I guess he will just dash to there. In cover. Since this is the first mission, I wonder if. Wrong direction. I mean, and since only one sectoid has shown up each time I found sectoids, I wonder if the, uh. Like. Oh, come on! Stupid sniper toids. Wait, that was a dash? Please tell me that wasn't a dash. Holy crap. Whatever, worst case, I'll use a grenade from the last dude. Okay. Recovering this material should give us a leg up on whatever it is the other really... are developing. I'm sure the doctors will be eager to get started. Okay. I got really lucky that the other dude didn't die from getting hit. I'm gonna need to cough again. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. Only I'll one. Get to it. Darn. Oh, they all. That's interesting. Uh, of course, my snipers. Commander to the research one of the ones labs. that got Commander injured to the badly. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Yeah. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay. Well, you welcome fragment alien materials meld recombination. Commander to the research labs. I heard Commander you. To the research labs. Thanks. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. 
I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Okay. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Alright, start new research project. We have seen a biology. Weapons fragments. Alien materials. I kind of want to do this because I... I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. She says that every time, we'll begin I think. Immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. But yeah, that's... Yeah, I want to see what that gives me. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Okay, 375 credits. I definitely need to buy one of these. Okay. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full I capacity. Need, I need to see how much uh, satellite as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Rock button built facilities. We still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to take more engineers. So just do that for now. Commander okay, so to mission control. Commander to mission this control. This is mission control, right? Oops. So I can't go to the situation room yet. I think this is mission control, so I guess I'll just scan for now. Commander, we picked up okay. multiple requests for I need assistance. the engineers. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Yeah, I need the engineers. Nobody's panicked yet. So I will be going to Perth, Australia. Basically, I've got the two squaddies. I essentially don't have anything else to give anyone, except I'll give one of these guys a med kit just in case. Yeah, that's about it. Um, like, subscribe if you would. I'll see you guys later, because I'm about to go eat.